Hey everybody, today we're making a creamy lemon cauliflower gnocchi recipe for you that's got some spinach and asparagus. And our sauce is made with coconut milk and just the right amount of lemon juice to have this beautiful sauce that you're gonna absolutely love. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. Before we get into our recipe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. And that way you'll be notified every week when my new videos come out and we're always cooking up something delicious and healthy. All right, we're gonna start off here. I've got a grill pan here for my asparagus that we're gonna be cooking up. In my big frying pan here, I've got this over medium heat and I have my Trader Joe cauliflower gnocchi right here. We're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the pan Once that gets hot, we're just going to add our packet of cauliflower. We're going to add some water to this. Now you want to keep the flame up to medium high because we want these to brown up and get nice and um, kind of crispy if we can. They don't tend to crisp up too much, but we'll do the best we can. We'll put a lid on that and we're going to let those cook for about six to seven minutes. In the meantime, um, I'm going to just dress up my asparagus. I'm going to grill up our asparagus. We're just going to add a little bit of olive oil here. Just a drizzle, just so we can coat this. Just use your hand, clean hand of course. Give it a toss in the oil so that it's all, you know, coated. And then just give it a little sprinkle of salt. Okay. And that'll be ready to go when we want to grill it. These asparagus are so tiny and thin, like pencils, that they're going to cook up very quick. Three minutes, four minutes max, so it'll be real quick. You want to check these you know, every three or four minutes or so and see how they're browning up. So we want them to crisp, kind of brown up like that. Look at that one. That was good. So these are ready to turn over. Just flip them on the other side. Some of them are more browned up than others. All right, once you get the gnocchis done like this and they look nice and crispy and browned up, it's time to remove them from the pan. So I'm gonna put them in this bowl right back here. Now I've got my grill pan going here. I'm getting that heated up because like I said, that's just gonna take a few minutes for the asparagus. In the meantime, we're gonna go back in this pan and we're gonna add some more, a couple tablespoons or so of oil to the pan. And we're gonna add our onions. This is gonna give us the flavor right here. And the mushrooms. And we're gonna cook these for a few minutes. Maybe five or six minutes. I'm gonna turn it back up to medium heat and just saute them. I'm gonna add just a touch of salt to that. Here's what it looks like after about six minutes. Time to add the garlic. I've got a couple cloves here. We're gonna add that in and just saute that for about 30 seconds until it gets fragrant. Now we're gonna add the wine and you wanna turn your heat way down when you add the wine because you don't want it to flare up on you. So if you don't want to use wine, you can use chicken broth. You can sub that out, but the flavor won't be quite the same. But just so you know, I think it's better with the wine. And then we're going to cook this for about seven minutes. We're going to bring this back up to simmer and simmer that wine for about seven minutes. It's been about seven minutes. Time to add some more ingredients. Coconut milk. I'm using full fat coconut milk here. You want to use full fat. Makes it nice and creamy. We've got some lemon zest. You want to use organic lemons here. I'm going to toss in just a little bit of lemon juice and some chopped fresh basil. Use fresh. You won't get the same flavor out of dry. That's for darn sure. Now we want to combine all this and let this simmer for just a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to start my, my pan here is hot. I'm going to start the asparagus because that'll be ready.
Now there's one more thing we'll have to add to our sauce, and that is we're going to add a little bit of thickener to thicken it up so that it's a little more creamy and rich. And what we're going to do is we're going to add, I have a mixture over here of some arrowroot, which is like cornstarch, only it's non, it's the non-GMO, and that's why I use it. And uh, we'll add some of this to the mixture until we get a thickness that we like. But we're going to let this simmer for just a couple minutes first. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of my arrowroot and coconut milk mixture here to thicken this up a little bit. So I'm probably not going to use it all because it's not too thin. Just going to add some in and then you want to stir right away because it thickens up. I'm going to let this go another minute. Let's give it a taste. Use a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. My asparagus is almost ready. And I'm going to place just a little bit of some chili pepper flakes in here, just a few for just a hint of heat. Now I'm going to add my spinach. Stir that around. I'm going to take the asparagus off. Now you want to chop up your asparagus so that it's in bite-sized pieces. It makes it easier to eat. So I'll just take this off to cool for a second. I'm going to add the gnocchi back into the pan. It's cooled off quite a bit. It's still warm. And they're sticking to each other, so I'm taking them with my hands and just pulling them apart. Here's the asparagus. I'm just going to toss that on top. Just kind of work that in. This is ready to go. All we need to do is just finish it off with maybe just a little parsley. And then it's time to eat. And this is, and again, if you wanted to serve it up with some grilled shrimp or chicken to add it to this, that would be fantastic. You could do it right there on that grill pan when you're doing the, the asparagus. All right, so here goes a little parsley on top. A little more green, that's probably enough. Those of you that are gluten-free and or vegan, you're gonna love this recipe. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to make it with grilled shrimp, I really can't. I just don't have any right now and it wasn't convenient to, to you know, go to the store. But look at this, it is just delicious. <laughs> Let me tell you the flavors here. That is super, super delicious. That lemon flavor is just the right balance. I think the coconut milk has enough sweetness that it balances out the lemon. And, it, and those uh, oils from the peel just bring it all to, together. If you're looking for a great recipe for Cinco de Mayo or really any time, go ahead and click that link right down there for my chicken fajita recipe. You're gonna love it. It is super delicious. Thanks so much for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.